why the appearance they are giving him does not correspond to the appearance the scriptures are giving him. Why they're representing him on the cross, supposedly suffering with a little bit of blood, when Isaiah prophesied that his appearance was marred beyond, was disfigured beyond um, that of human likeness. Because basically he did not like, look like human. He was unrecognizable. He was disfigured. But in their representation, he is not disfigured. Why are you accepting a narrative that supposedly a woman came with a shroud put on his face and that's where the image of the Christ came? So you put supposedly the you, you put the cloth on his face and that also shows the hair that also shows his his color that also shows everything you see the personage with long hair blue eyes that's a false christ so on the shroud of turin or they also show the color of his of his eyes you see when the prophet prophesied that his face was disfigured, he was mar marred. He was not recognizable. So that narrative of the Shroud of Turin is not biblical, it's completely false. It is a false narrative. When you look in history, how that image came to be of that fake Jesus, it is the image of the illegitimate, illegitimate son of Pope, of a Pope that they put, that they say, this is the Savior, and they, they started to spread out. And many have accepted, have fallen into the trap of Satan. Because that image, that fake image of that fake Jesus, it is from Satan. Now, <clears throat> now some um, black people who were colonized who were already indoctrinated mentally, intellectually, spiritually colonized they will say that the color does not matter that's what they will say they will say the color doesn't matter. He, he does not have an importance. The only thing that matters is his teachings, love, and so on. So what the prophet prophesied about does not matter. What Daniel saw has no importance. What Isaiah saw has no importance. And who are you to say his color has no importance? Who are you to say he does not matter? Who are you? So you have accepted the lie, the false narrative, and when we present the truth, you say, oh no, that doesn't matter. Because you are corrupt. Because you are indoctrinated. Because you have been colonized mentally, intellectually, and spiritually. Because you like the lies. In Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 2. Now, because some people are going to say, oh, okay, maybe the Christ was not black, was not um, white, but he was mixed. They're going to say he was born in the Middle East and so on. In Palestine, supposedly, he was mixed. He wasn't white, that's true, but he was not black either. He was something in between, a little bit dark, a little bit tanned. He was mixed. And that narrative is also false. Because in Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 2, you're told in uh, the translation Bible des Peuples, it says, it says, <clears throat> the mixed race will not enter the community of God. Even in the 10th generation, he is excluded from the community. In Maritus Pastoral Bible, so in this, it is a French translation, it says, 
uh, it is Bible Pastoral Married Source. It says, neither shall the mixed. So the mixed, it is the mixed race, biracial, um, the one who is from miscegenation. Neither shall the mixed race enter into the assembly of the Lord. In other version would say, um, a man born from a from an illicit union. In Word English Bible, it says a person born of a forbidden union. What is that forbidden union? <clears throat> In John chapter eight verse 40, 41 you're told. John eight forty one. So first, before I read John 8, 41. So in Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 3, in other version, verse, verse 2, you're told that the mixed cannot enter the community of God. Shall not, will not. So claiming that the Christ was supposedly mixed, he was a little bit tan, he was a little bit in between, is also wrong. Because... They, they also were excluded from the community. So, and we know that Moses himself, he took an Ethiopian woman as his wife. So this is just to show you that Moses himself as well, he was black. The Israelites, they were black people. So the Christ himself, who will be like Moses, because Moses said that, uh, God will send you a prophet like me, so like Moses, and Moses was taken for, him, uh, for an Egyptian, and the Egyptians, they were black. So the Christ as well is black, you see that in Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. So the notion that the Christ was mixed, a little bit in between, or Middle Eastern, that's completely wrong. And in John chapter 8 verse 41, you're told, you are doing the works of your own father, Period. So here the Christ was speaking to some people who were not like him. And he they say he says, You are doing the works of your own father. And they said, We are not illegitimate, illegitimate children. They protested. Why are they protesting the saying we are not illegitimate children? Why did he not say we are not white or we are not mixed? Because they could not say that because they were. It was evident. So that's why they say the only father we have is God himself. They, they would nevertheless claim not to be Ill illegitimate. And... You have to understand that those illegitimate, those born from that forbidden union in Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 3, that's what Christ was accusing them of being. And they said no. But they did not say we are not white. They did not say we are not mixed. Because they couldn't. And in Genesis chapter 6 verse 2, we see the origin of that forbidden union, of that uh, of those illegitimate. He says in Genesis chapter 6 verse 2, the sons of God. So first in Genesis chapter 1, when human beings began to increase in numbers on the earth and daughters were born to them. Verse 2, the sons of God saw that the daughters of human were beautiful and they married any of them that they chose. In book of the secret of Enoch chapter 18 verse 3, they brought miscegenation, mixing. 